Hi everyone and welcome to this course. I am Ervis Trupia and this is a preview of the app that we are going to build together step by step in the upcoming parts. In this course we'll learn how to make a URL shortener app like the ones that you have seen before such as Bitly, TinyURL or Rebrandly. What you are seeing here on the screen is the client app and in this app you can log into your account, you can sign up for a new account but the most important feature is that you can shorten a really long URL. So if I copy, for example, this long URL from here and just paste on the input box and then click the shorten it button, you'll be redirected to the login page because for you to use this app or for you to be able to shorten a URL, you need to be logged in. Now, I don't have an account, so what I'll do is that I'll just go to the register button and in the sign up form, I need to provide some basic details like the full name, email address, and password. I'm just going to type in here my full name, Ervis Trupia, then an email address. As a password, I'm going to type 1234, and then down here just 123. And if I click the register button, I'll get this error which says that passwords do not match. So this form does also have data validation. Let me just type in here a longer password, let's say 1234 or 126, and then 126 down here as well, and then click the register button. If the account is created successfully, you'll get this message which says that your account was created successfully. Let me just go to the login button. In here, I'll type my email address, and then the password was 126, and then click the login button. If you are successfully logged in, here at the top right, you'll get this button, log out, and then my username or my email address, and all my links here on the left. When you click the all my links, you'll get a table which currently is empty because you have not shortened any URLs just yet. So let me just go back to this tab and copy this link, and then go back to the app. Here, I'll click the add new button which redirects me to the home page. Here I'll just paste the URL and then click the shorten it button. If the URL is successfully shortened, what you'll get in here is a successful message which says that this URL now is shortened to just these characters. If I go to all my links, then in here you can see that I have the original link I have the shortened link and the number of clicks. So let me now just copy this domain and go to the other app, which is the one without the portal in front. And then at the end, I just need to add the shortened link. So if I just add in here this one, so this value and then press enter, I'm going to be redirected to the original link, which was this one. And if I go back to the portal and just refresh the browser, you are going to see that now the number of links is not zero anymore, but it's one. In this app, you can also log in as an administrator. So I'll just log out from my account. And then I'll just go to login. And here I'm going to use the admin email address and then click the login button. When you log in as an admin, what you'll see in here is that you'll see the old links. Here you can see the original link. You get to see the shortened link, the number of clicks, but also the user that did create this link. Other than the old links, you also see the users. And if you go to users, you are going to see a summary of all the users that are in the system. So for example, if I go to the last one, which is ervistrupia at gmail.com, you see that this user has created one link and has a total of one clicks. You can click here, show details, and you'll see that this was a link that was created. This was the short version, and the number of clicks is just one. We can run another test. I can just copy this short link I'll just paste it in here and then I'll just copy just this part. 
paste it here. Okay, it did redirect me. Let me paste it again. If I go back and then just refresh it. Now you'll see that this user has created one link but has a total of three clicks. And if you want to see the details the same way, just click the button and you see in here that all the three clicks were in this short link. So this is the app that we're going to build on the next part, step by step, starting with just the empty projects. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next parts.